Looks like an actual movie scene, right? Well, I made this using a tool called Vidu AI. And no, it's not one of those basic text-to-video things. This one's different. It has a feature called Reference to Video, where you just upload a few images, write a prompt, and it turns that into a full, consistent video. And the magic behind it? It's the Q1 model. Super smart, super stable, and honestly, the most impressive I've seen so far when it comes to creating story-like videos with the same characters and vibe. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I used it step-by-step step, to create that whole horror movie style scene. Let's get into it. Once you click on the link in the description box, you'll be directed to the official Vidu AI website. And the best part is, if you sign up through that link, you'll get some extra credits. All you need to do is sign up with your Google account, and within seconds, you'll land on Vidu's main dashboard. Here, you'll see some really cool AI tools like text-to-video, image-to-video, and reference-to-video. In today's video, we're going to explore Vidu Q1's reference-to-video feature, which, honestly, is on a whole different level. It lets you create videos just by using reference visuals and prompts, and the results are seriously impressive. So let's check it out in action. So first of all, click on the reference to video option. Now, all you have to do is upload some reference images and Vidu AI will turn them into a full video. Let me show you how it works. To start, upload the images you want to use in your scene. For example, in this video, I will be creating a short, consistent horror movie scene. The idea is, a boy visits a haunted house and something creepy happens. So I'm going to show you exactly how I build that step by step. Here, I've uploaded three images. The first one is a reference of the boy, our main character. The second one is the background scene, which is a spooky room. And the third image is of a book. I want to create a scene where the boy is sitting in that room and reading the book. Now pay attention to how I write the prompt. This part is important. As you can see, the tool automatically labels your uploaded images as image one, image two, image three, and so on. You'll use these labels while writing your prompt. So instead of describing everything again, you just refer to the image numbers. For example, I'll write, image one is sitting on the bed in image two and reading a book from image three with mysterious expressions. That's it. No need to add anything extra. Just describe the scene using the image tags and the tool will handle the rest. Now, make sure your model is set to Vidu Q1. This is the model we'll be using. Then you can adjust the video duration, like five seconds, and also set the resolution. Next is the movement amplitude setting. This controls how much camera movement or motion is added to your video. A higher amplitude means more dynamic movement and a lower one means more stable shots. I'll leave it on auto for now. You can also choose the aspect ratio and the number of videos you want to generate. Once all that's set, just click on create and it'll take a few seconds to process. And here's the result. You can see it looks so good. I just uploaded three reference images and it turned them into a smooth, consistent video. Amazing. The character, the scene, the expressions, everything matches the references perfectly. You can download the video directly or recreate it if you want to make changes. Now let's move on to the next scene. In this next one, I want the boy to be walking on a road at night holding a lamp. So I'll upload three images again, the same boy image to keep the character consistent, an image of a lamp and a road as the background. As before, the tool has labeled them as image one, image two and image three. So my prompt will be something like image one is holding a lamp from image two and walking on image three. I'll keep all the other settings the same and generate the video. While that's processing, let me quickly show you something really helpful, the pro mode. If you toggle this on, it will optimize and rewrite your prompt into a more structured version, making it even more accurate and detailed. As you can see, it now rewrote the prompt by first describing the subject, then the environment, and so on. You can choose whether to use pro mode or not. Both work well, but pro mode might give you more refined results. So I'll generate two videos, one with the basic prompt and one with pro mode turned on. Let's see the difference, and here we go. The result without pro mode looks fantastic. The boy, the lamp, the walking animation, all of it is on point. Now here's the result with pro mode, and again, it looks really good. In fact, this version gave me a different angle, a backside view of the character, which I can also use in my video to make it look even better. I'll download both because they both turned out great. So now we have two scenes done. Let's move on to the third scene. 
In this one, I want to show the boy entering a haunted house holding the same lamp. So again, I'll upload the same boy image, the lamp, a haunted house as the background. Then I'll write the prompt like this. Image 1 is holding the lamp from image 2 and entering the haunted house from image 3 with a scared expression. I'll also use pro mode again here to structure my prompt. And yes, you can always tweak or edit it if you want. Now let's generate this one too. Okay, so now you can see the result. It looks really good. The expression, the lighting, the whole visual, everything looks amazing, and it definitely gives off creepy vibes too. As you can see, it's a front side view, but I also wanted a version where the boy is entering towards the house, so I'll just recreate it. This time, I will turn off the pro mode and use a basic prompt instead. Here's the prompt I'll use. Image one is holding lamp, and image two and entering towards the house, and image three with scared expressions. All right, so here is the result, and it looks really good again. So now I have two videos of the same scene from different angles, which I can combine in my final video. Now, let's move towards the next scene. In this one, I'll upload the same boy to keep the character consistent, the same lamp, and a new background image showing an inside view of the haunted house. Then I'll write the prompt. Image one is holding lamp in image two and walking on the stairs upwards in image three. Again, the video looks absolutely amazing. Now, in the same way, I'll create the next scene, where a girl is sitting in a room and the boy walks towards her. Let's generate. Again, it looks good. Now I'll upload the same girl and the same room image, and this time I'll also upload a ghost image. So basically, in this scene, I want to show the girl's transformation into a ghost. I'll write the prompt here. So here's the result. And guys, this is so cool and honestly so crazy. I'm seriously in love with this tool. This is how I'm generating all the scenes consistently, one after another, and they actually look like clips from a short film. Now I'll go ahead and generate the ending scenes, just two to three more, and then I'll add sound effects, background music, and combine all of these clips together. Let me now show you the final result I got. Trouble, please help me. <sighs> Why did you came here? We need to get out of here now. Let's go. Seriously, this is on a whole different level. I've tried so many AI video tools before, but I haven't seen anything that comes even close to what VidUQ1 is doing. Just think about it. You upload a few reference images, write a simple prompt, and it literally turns it into a full, consistent video that looks like a movie scene. Like, what even? The creativity, the accuracy, the character consistency, it all just clicks. You don't have to spend hours editing, animating, or syncing things. It does the hard work for you. I honestly didn't expect it to be this good, but I was blown away. If you're someone who loves storytelling, content creation, or even just experimenting with new tools, you need to try this. I promise, once you use it, you'll be hooked. And the best part, if you sign up using the link in the description, you'll get extra credits with my link. So it's a win-win. I'm genuinely impressed, and I think this tool is going to change the way we create videos going forward. So go try it out, play with it, get creative, and let me know what kind of scenes you come up with. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all for today. See you in the next video.